Hello and welcome to the Creep News channel. We are continuing our series of lessons about trading and today we are going to talk about levels. Well, levels is where the price could linger or push off. Basically, we are looking for classes of buyers and sellers. We determine the strengths of support and resistance levels. According to the classical technical analysis, the strengths of support and resistance levels depends on three factors. And these three factors are level duration, level height, and volume of transactions. These factors can be compared with the length, width, and depth of the consolidation zone. So let's look at each of them in a little bit more detail. The duration of the support or resistance area, both in time and in the number of touches, is probably the most important factor in determining the strengths of a certain level. The more times the price is bounced off any level, and longer the period of time that continued, the stronger the level is. Well, the simplest example is support of Bitcoin price at $6,000. For several months the price could not break it, but after breaking through, the price went down very fast. This is explained by the fact that players have a kind of emotional attachment to this level. Levels are divided into two types. If the price comes from top to bottom and doesn't break through it, then it acts as a support. When price rises to a level from below, then this is resistance. However, after some time, support and resistance levels, they may age. This is explained by the fact that, like in any business, there is a constant rotation of players in the exchange trading. 70% of exchange traders annually leave the market, giving the latter all their money, and you players who have no emotional connection with all levels come into their place. The wider the price range in the area of resistance and support is, the stronger this price range is. Stock traders compare such range to a high fence around a very valuable property. The volume of transactions in the area of support or resistance also determines the strength of a particular level. A large volume in the field of consolidation indicates that quite a lot of players are involved in the game, showing rather strong emotions. The small volume indicates that it is not so important for the players that they cross this level and it serves as a sign of weakness of a certain level of support or resistance. Well, I hope everything is clear here. The stronger the level and the more volume it has, the more epic the battle of bears and bulls will be. From strong levels, buying is less risky than from weak ones. But you need to take all the factors into account, including the number of touches and lifespan. So now, let's check some fresh Bitcoin analytics and see what levels exist now, right now, and find them on the chart. So here we go to the CryptoRocket website. So as you can see, during the recent times, in this particular 4-hour time frame, we have seen these two distinct levels. The first one is a support level at around uh, $9,200, which is a minimal price that the Bitcoin isn't going to drop lower because it is supported by the market. And the second level, also very distinct, is a resistance level at around uh, $10,100, which the price also isn't allowed to exceed. So before that, as you can probably remember, there was a historical resistance level uh, for Bitcoin price at around 7,800 US dollars. And after the market managed to exceed this price, the growth became very rapid in the upward direction. So I would also like to remind you, in case you didn't know that, that you can check news tab on CryptoRocket website where there are sometimes really cool technical analysis news about various markets and in this case you don't even need to look at the graph for yourself and check everything, you just can read uh, a used article made by professionals where they analyze the market. So, as you can see, it's not that hard at all to find the levels for support and resistance on the chart and you can do it yourself. And in the next video, 
we are going to take a little bit of a break from technical analysis and we'll talk about risk management and this will help you to save your money and we're hoping to see you soon. This was the Crypt News Channel. Bye!